Hello, my name is Donald from 3D BioCAD. Today we will show you how to set up your Roland DWX4W wet milling machine. When you receive your unit, you need to open the protective box by first cutting the plastic strap and plastic wrap securing the box to the pallet. Once this is done, you need to remove the plastic handles on all four sides by pulling on the right tab, removing the entire plastic handle as shown in the instructions on top of the box. Be sure when lifting the top of the box, you lift it straight up. This can be done with one person or two to be more sufficient. Under the box top, you will see the cardboard top. This is a cushion to protect the unit and also to store the secured items inside. In the cardboard pillar on the side of the unit contains the coolant additive. Visible from the top of the cardboard cushion, you'll see the measuring cup and the accessories box and the SUM 3D software. Inside the accessories box, you should have the following. You will have the setup guide and maintenance card. You'll see a waterproof plate, drain hoses, a coolant tank cap, one hexagonal screwdriver and one hexagonal wrench. You'll see the power cord and USB cables, four mounting screws. There will be three milling burrs. You'll see an automatic correction jig and the maintenance kit. After you ensure all components are included, you can unwrap your machine being cautious of the air regulator on the back of the machine. Remove the DWX4W from the box and place in the designated workstation and remove the green tape securing the door. Inside of the unit, when you open the door, there will be three cardboard retainers securing the items inside. Starting with retainer A on the left, going to the right, remove A, B, and C retainers. Once these retainers are removed, you can remove the tape securing the drain cover in the back. Then open the bottom drawer and you will see inside the coolant tank with retainer D. Also remove retainer D. Make sure to keep all packaging materials just in case you have a reason to ship the machine out. The air hose connects to the left side of the air regulator. Pull up on the gray upper knob and turn clockwise until pressure is between six and eight. The drain hoses are connected to the bottom of the bowls on the regulator by twisting until tight. The other end of the drain hoses are to be put in a sink or some other kind of drain. At this point, you can now plug in the power cord and USB cables. As you'll see on one side of the panel, there is a flat side and the other side has a rounded edge. The rounded edge is to be inserted facing inside of the machine. Also on the panel, there are holes pre-made to fit on the pins. The waterproof panel is to be inserted behind the window where you see the pins. Now you would need to fill up the coolant tank.
Inside the coolant tank, you will see the filter on the side. Remove the filter just to ensure that everything is okay. Inside the filter, you will see a plastic tube which is to be used to support the filter when it's wet. That plastic tube should be held on to, just in case you need to replace the filter. Now it's time to fill the coolant tank. Filling the coolant tank, you will need 150 milliliters of coolant additive, and 2,850 milliliters of distilled water. Using the provided measuring tank, fill the tank from the top. Now inserting the burrs. There are four slots for the burrs, so you will only use slots 1, 2, and 3. Starting from 2.5 millimeters in slot 1, 1 millimeter in slot 2, and 0.5 millimeters in slot 3. Remember that inside the machine, the detection pin is only to be used for calibration, and there is a dummy pin inside that should be used inside the machine while milling. I hope this video has been informative, and we thank you for choosing 3D BioCAD.